Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'm going to show you a quick and easy idea on how I use a pool noodle to make a slip bobber float for catching big catfish. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've went to the uh, Dollar Tree and bought me a pool noodle and I just took a knife and cut this to the size that I wanted. And the other thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some bobber stops and these come with these little ties, these little bobber stop ties and the beads. So you want to go ahead and put that on your line and then that way you'll be able to use your uh, float. I also bought these these are called sinker slides, but these are a little different than some of the other ones. Um, I've seen some in the past that you got a thread on there and then they're always on your, your line. These newer ones, this is called the easy slider. They're easy on, easy off. And if you can look, there's like a little groove right here and you're, you thread your line on them. So you can thread your line on and off through that slot and you can have it off and on in just a matter of seconds. The other thing is just a piece of wire. Now I use, I've got some aluminum wire right here. That way it won't rust, but you could use any kind of stiff wire like a coat hanger or, or anything. But I have a piece of aluminum wire that I'm going to use and a pair of pliers. And for this, I'm just going to use my Leatherman. And what I do is I will just bend it about a quarter inch and then come down an inch from about an inch from that and bend it a 90 again. I'll have a little hook just like that. And then I come up from one end, I'll come down about an inch and I'll shove it through. And you can see it in the center of that pool noodle. And then I'll take this sinker slide and I'll put the clip in side there and I will slide this wire through the pool noodle and I'll shove that in itself right just like that now I will take my pliers and right here next to the pool noodle I'll grab a hold of it and then I will compress that pool noodle and I will bend another 90 in that that wire and I've got this a little bit long so I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna leave roughly an inch and three quarters All right, so on this end here, I'm gonna compress this pool noodle and I'm gonna grab it about, oh, three eighths to a half inch from the end there. And I'm gonna bend it another 90 and I'm just gonna let it shove it right back in itself. And there you have it. This little clip will hang down and you can thread your line through there and you can take that on and off and your bead will not slide through the end of that sinker slide. I hope this helps you out. My dad and I, we've just started fishing on the Ohio, trying to catch some big catfish. The Ohio River is about a, I don't know, 10, 15 minute drive from me. And uh, we're trying to get them figured out all if, if you stick with us. Uh, we'll probably be putting out some fishing videos. I will tell you that we know absolutely nothing about fish in the Ohio for big catfish. Uh, my fishing experience growing up was sitting on a pond bank somewhere with some chicken livers. So this is all new to us. We've been watching some good YouTube channels and I've been talking to, to a couple friends around here that uh, have had success in the past. But uh, we're having a good time and we hope to do some good. So I hope this helps you out and good luck to y'all. We'll see you next time on Perry Freeze Outdoors. Mm -hmm.